go. We're hooked. There we go, baby. There we go. Hooked up. There we go, baby. What's up, guys? This is TJ, aka Fish with Yak Pack. I'm here today in a, uh, a random parking lot. I actually think this might be a Walmart. It's kind of a weird, like, small grocery Walmart. Anyways, what we're doing in today's video is the worst rated Amazon fishing combo that I could possibly find. This thing was like $35, I think, maybe 40 bucks, but it had the least amount of stars out of all of them. I think it had like 2.5 stars out of five or something along those lines. It was like very terribly rated and it had hundreds. I think it was like some along the lines of 600 or 700 something ratings. And I was like, okay, this definitely has to be the absolute worst uh, combo on Amazon, hands down. So I bought the whole thing. Let's go ahead and I've got the whole thing right here. Come in a little travel case. How cool is that? Let's bust this bad boy open real quick and see uh, see what we got. I've not opened this thing up yet. I literally just took it out of the box. Look at the back of this stuff. Fishing line. Number one, we have fishing line. Number two, this is the real. This has got to be the real, okay? I don't look bad. It's got a wooden handle on it. That's, oh, it feels crusty. <laughs> it feels super crusty. Yeah, it's got a wood handle though. That's kind of, it's kind of sick. It drag doesn't sound terrible. Usually with these super cheap reels, you can hear the, the yeah, never mind. It does. It sounds like that bicycle drag from Walmart. Like, you know what I'm talking about, Trey? The Walmart bicycles. <clears throat> Ringing the bell. Okay. Now, the rod, obviously, has got to be telescopic. I didn't know that, but it's definitely got to be telescopic because there's no way. Oh, it came with fishing lures, too. Oh, it's purple? <laughs> it's aluminum. It's like an aluminum purple fishing rod. What? What's this? Okay, let's just keep the tip from breaking. Dude, are you? I thought I broke it. I'm ready to go fishing. I don't know if this is gonna work. And I tell you what, though, it looks really cool. I know that. Okay. All right, let's get her lined up. We're gonna get this bad boy lined up. We're gonna use this line right here. I have no clue what. Let me see here. Let me see the camera real quick. I have no clue what pound test this is because uh, I don't read Japanese. Is that Japanese? It's gotta be Japanese. It says made in Japan or something like right there from Japan. Okay. All right. We're gonna get this bad boy lined up and, oh, almost poked myself in the eye. We're gonna get this bad boy lined up and we'll see you guys on the water here in uh, about two seconds. All right, guys, we're here now. We've got this crazy looking rod. Look at that thing actually uh, looks 10 out of 10. I mean, it's got like a little carbon fiber look. The reel looks good. It's a size 3000, wooden handle, some like purple aluminum for the rod itself. Pretty sick. Oh, here we go, we're hooked. Listen to the drag, oh no, he spit it. My drag was so loose, dude, no. Okay, drag's good now. Drag's good, but he spit it, that's so tough. I knew he was gonna spit it too, as soon as I figured out my drag was so loose. go let's freaking go guys oh my gosh first fish first fish on the worst rated amazon fishing lure a solid stud peacock bass man these guys are nothing but muscle and i love catching these things so much dude oh all right we'll catch you next time <laughs> let's go talk about a fight dude i had this freaking thing this drag is maxed. That's crazy. Dude, those fish are so freaking strong. Look at them. There we go, baby. Look out. Oh my gosh. Oh, he spit it. Before I could flip him up, dude, the action in this rod is like. It's a wind boy. Yeah, it's like a super mega fast or something like just four inches of the tip just bends like crazy. Dang, that's tough, dude. That was a good fish. So far, not so bad, ladies and gents. We have uh, caught one, missed two, and then uh, this rod tip on this thing. I wish you guys could like really, really see this, but 
look how it bends if you guys can see that it just bends like i don't know it's just crazy how it's like an extra 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 fast i mean it's just nuts i've never seen a rod with this fast of a tip on it and with the tip being that fast i feel like it's uh really like hurting my hook set like i'm really not getting a, a good drive in these fish Bro, let it, let it That is a good one, boys. All right, guys, that was freaking epic. Another, okay, that's fine. Another stud peacock bass. This one's got all like really predominant colors on it, man. That's so sick. I love these things so much. Just like that. Okay, so far, so far I ain't gonna lie. This is, uh, I mean, I've lost a couple fish due to the fact that I think the rod is too fast, like the tip is too fast, but I chose to come peacock fishing today because peacock bass, the best way I can explain this to you guys, and I've tried time and time and time again throughout my years of living in South Florida, um, a peacock bass fights, like two and a half pound peacock bass is gonna fight as hard if not a little bit harder than a six pound largemouth and that's only because those fish are pure just straight muscle just like think about like arnold schwarzenegger in the freaking like 70s like just pure ripped muscle like you'll never see a fat peacock bass just because they can't get fat they're just all muscle so guys another another beautiful south florida stud right here let you go there you go right back down yes there we go baby there we go hooked up hooked up boat flip oh. boat flip actually yeah baby let's go and that's gonna wrap it up ladies and gentlemen last fish of the day another beautiful south florida peacock bass man you just gotta love the colors on these things and how freaking awesome of a fish species they are let's get you back oh well i was gonna gracefully let you go but that you know that works all right ladies and gentlemen that's gonna wrap this video up uh I personally thought the uh, the little rod reel combo we've got right here, I personally liked it. I thought it was awesome. Uh, a little stiff in my opinion. The, I think the action on the rod is, is slightly uh, too fast. But nonetheless, I mean, uh, we caught some stud fish today with the, uh, the worst rod and reel combo on Amazon. So if you want to challenge yourself and uh, try to catch fish on, on something like this too, I would say go for it. It was hilarious and, uh, and I had a good time. But anyways, I would definitely rate this thing slightly better than, than what it was rated at. I think it was like two and a half out of five stars or like 2.2 .2 out of five stars, whatever the rating was. I don't remember exactly. I remember it was two something, two stars out of five. Uh, two something out of five stars but anyways thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe like i said earlier in the video and if you've made it this far go ahead and hit the video with a fat thumbs up because it uh it's free it costs nothing it helps other people find fishing with the act pack youtube videos i love you guys we'll catch you on the next venture peace